Good afternoon, uh, everybody. Uh, it's my great pleasure to be here to present um, current situation about the uh, water and um, wastewater issues in Vietnam. Um, uh, uh, thank you very much for the occasion to invite me to for great pleasure. Um, so the topic of my presentation is emerging water and wastewater issues in Vietnam, uh, multidimensional challenges for sustainable development. Um, Vietnam, uh, this, we have uh, abundant water resources, and uh, this is um, um, when we, uh, water it can be a very important uh, key factor for uh, development uh, in order to achieve the SDG Sustainable Development Goals. Uh, we, uh, uh, it's agricultural activities, we depend a lot, uh, and uh, water use is extensively for the agriculture. Um, same for the aquaculture, since we have a long coastal zone, and aquaculture is also an uh, important contribution for GDP in Vietnam. Um, for energy, um, hydropower, uh, still remain the, the most important source for, uh, for the current situation for the uh, electric uh, generations. And um, um, uh, the last but not least is uh, the urban area. We have um, very uh, rapid, <coughs> sorry, rapid uh, urbanization uh, and um, water demand is uh, increased very fast for urban water uses. Uh, but uh, Water supply in general uh, uh, of Vietnam is uh, only miss 70 percent of demand, uh, which account for 25 to 30 million of urban populations. And um, for over last um, um, three decades, Vietnam, uh, we put a lot of uh, um, effort for uh, water uh, facilities, uh, and it contribute for the development of the country. But uh, on the vice versa. The uh, development of the country also puts great pressure on the water resort uh, in terms of water pollution or water shortage. And um, today's topic, I would like to talk uh, open the wat uh, water issues, which are still very young industry, uh, with uh, the first uh, wastewater project start in uh, 2006, so almost uh, 15 years ago. So this is um, the finger for the urban wastewater management. Uh, in this finger, you can see that uh, uh, for urban um, uh, water use, uh, the total wastewater treated safely, safely treated is already about 10% 10, 10 not more than 15% for the updated uh, statistical number. And the rest is um, the septic, uh, we have uh, fecund slush uh, from septic tank, and septic uh, safely disposal is estimated only 4%. The rest, um, together with the septic and the uh, remaining wastewater, uh, is seen uh, unsafely disposed into the ambient environment. So, for the uh, urban wastewater, we have uh, currently we have uh, around 40, 90. Um, 39 uh, facil uh, central, uh, centralized waste, uh, wastewater, sorry, wastewater treatment plants, uh, and uh, uh, among that, the treatment technology utilized is the majority is uh, activated slash uh, combined both um, um, conventional or modern like SBI, SBI or um, uh, oxygen dish. Uh, the remaining is the Fund to the category of checking filters, pump technology, uh, primary sedimentation, which occur only like a 20% uh, of the technology selection. For industries and other wastewater achievement, is um, uh, the finger a bit better, but uh, uh, for the club village, we have uh, uh, almost no wastewater achievement plan in almost 5,000 uh, just club village, and this is really hot. Um, severe environmental uh, uh, source for the environment. Uh, slush of sea waste is not uh, being cheated, uh, not there are any appropriate uh, treatment technology so far. Um, Touched upon many issues for wastewater management. 
I would like to uh, pick up the poor planning for wastewater management first. Uh, the local location of treatment facility in the catchment area or implementation of the discharge concern in catchment area is not uh, uh, well um, uh, managed. Uh, for example, we have um, um, the network, uh, CWS network, then uh, this is the centralized ones and go to the treatment plant and then discharge to the um, river. And normally in Vietnam, this uh, environment uh, law uh, considers the, uh, the source of the water. We apply the discharge standard uh, type B, class B, that's the lower uh, class for the water resource. But um, in the catchment area, we have uh, many um, uh, decentralized treatment system uh, that come from like a condominium or five-star hotels or uh, commercial centers. And it's required by law. Normally, we have to cheat by tire. but it's much higher um, uh, requirement. And the effluent go to the the network, um, collection network, and then go to the treatment uh, plan again. So this kind of um, um, uh, network is very uh, common in Vietnam, and uh, even the, for the authority, they still have difficulty to solve it. Uh, this is open canal. Is the main function uh, in the city is for wastewater delivery. So the it brings a lot of uh, problems for the people, uh, urban people. And in the future, when the project, uh, many projects is in preparation, and wastewater is being collected by uh, interceptor system, uh, the canyon will get dry because of the major source is um, um, the uh, wastewater. Uh, and uh, still, the, um, the planning doesn't take into account the uh, value of the water in the city. So this is a, a situation in Vietnam. Um, the other issue, uh, the pro improper development of sewage uh, collection system. The network uh, in Vietnam, more than 80% is uh, combined sewage system that uh, receive both uh, wastewater and uh, rain um, water. Um, and the provision of centralized sewage system Sometimes uh, yeah, it needs uh, huge investment and also other many factors anticipate which make project uh, delay for sometimes many years um, and all, uh, let the project or the plan working under design capacity. Uh, we have many lessons learned in the, in the past like Bắc Thang Long in Sở, uh, in Hanoi or Phu Lý in Hanam in Vinh in Central Province. Uh, the design and management of urban drainage and network also is not good. So flooding prone area is very common appear and clogging other problem for uh, sewer. Treatment technology also is a major concern. Treatment technology selection does not always agree with the specific requirement, uh, such as the weak influence condition because of the we have combined system. The process design um, uh, sometimes ignores the nature of the flow and loading. Uh, so the low loading uh, with uh, limit or no benefit to uh, like uh, primary uh, tanks or uh, last uh, anoxic tanks are called settling slush. Uh, the other is CCU is a frequently changing effluent standard. Uh, Vietnamese government uh, over the last 20 years we uh, Use, uh, used to change the effluent standard for uh, five times, and uh, it's great uncertainty in terms of technology applications, especially for the nitrogen uh, and phosphorus um, contents. Um, it's very strength, very high requirement, so that um, ham the uh, limitation of application of technology related to the anaerobic or uh, anoxic technology. And uh, in many projects, a simple and alternative technology or applications are not or less considered, which uh, may bring benefit for the um, energy uh, consumption, uh, saving, and uh, consumable demand. Uh, one of the hot topic for Vietnam me uh, mega city is the frequent slush management. Uh, there are no uh, effective uh, frequent slush management in place in Vietnam. 
um, some frequent waste is brought to landfill uh, when it's under our basic treatment and it's not really uh, appropriate. Um, and uh, no at all any local monitoring or regulation on the product. Other issue is in investment and financing mechanism for water wastewater management. Uh, over the last 20 years, uh, the Vietnamese government, together with uh, the support from uh, foreign uh, government and uh, development agency, we have uh, already put uh, 2.1 billion uh, in development of infrastructure related to sanitation. And in order to provide 100% of um, population, urban population with clean uh, um, uh, sanitation, um, we need about 10 billion more, according to estimation from World Bank. And um, for, for now, uh, almost is based on the, yeah, the 80% is based from the ODA funding, where the public uh, funding is not enough. And um, private sector participation is considered uh, is risky because of broad cost recovery is, uh, is very low or uncertainties. Uh, problematic land for instructors uh, is happened uh, in Vietnam, and now the government just stopped this for, I mean, two, two months ago to stop this program. Uh, there has been lack of achievement in recovering of OPEX uh, for the operation cost. So this finger shows the, our uh, wastewater or water tariff still uh, at the low level and cannot uh, recover the real uh, um, uh, expense. For some uh, dic discussion, uh, I would like to talk about the achievement technology selections. Uh, we have to say that for the uh, coming years, the combined system has remains uh, reasonable in high populated areas we cannot change to uh, to uh, other type like a um, separate system. So phasing uh, in investment for wastewater treatment plants can lead more effective use of limited funding uh, with treatments responsive to actual uh, influent uh, conditions. And the formulation of design and of manual uh, is very important. So wastewater treatment technology session, it uh, need to be considered number of the cate categories which uh, one of the uh, important is able to meet the discharge concern, especially in terms of the nutrients uh, um, compound. For the institutional arrangement and capacity development, um, we, uh, it's lack of and we need to develop the, with the re regulators. Um, under, who understanding the appropriate compliance such as uh, monitoring campaigns, uh, reporting requirements, establish the monitoring and basic standard for reuse of uh, slush is needed. Um, for investment, as I mentioned before, stepwise investment is very important uh, to utilize efficiencies of existing finance uh, resources, mobilizing the additional and innovative form of the domestic and international finance is important. So, uh, we think that enhancement of PPP, public service, uh, uh, private sectors, uh, uh, provides more enhancement of the uh, private investor. Uh, finance commitment by local authorities needed to ensure long-term effectiveness that is being seen ignored for the current situation. And uh, what the suggestion we need to prepare the urban um, sanitation strategy for each city or local uh, province. Tariff collection, yes, it should be uh, required to rise tariff to fully recover the wastewater convey treatment and by drug hand handling and uh, uh, provide a roadmap for the required increase of tariff. Um, for the institutions, uh, we need a um, single body to manage a network and as our suggestions, uh, network and treatment facility because it's uh, cannot work separately, and uh, have to define the appropriate model for O&M service provider company. There are several uh, um, models in Vietnam current situation, like uh, in Bình Dương City, the one company they in charge in own water uh, service, uh, wastewater uh, and solid waste, and they can mobilize the resource. Uh, and this is really good uh, examples. 
um, they are also one uh, private company food and they take care about the O&M work for about 12 wastewater uh, treatment facility in more than six uh, mega city in Vietnam. I, I can say mega city, but big city in Vietnam. But the most common is the separate company. Uh, they man manage water separate with the wastewater. And uh, uh, the last issue is effective sludge management. Uh, yeah, I would like to emphasize again the formalization of management of sludge is important. Uh, and we need to promote uh, to weather uh, the safety management and seaweed uh, work and the many centralized wastewater treatment plants now they modify the plan to receive also the African sludge or safety tanks uh, slash uh, uh, to call treatment in this plant. So for the conclusions, uh, I'd like to um, pick up here again that um, where considerable investment had been made um, uh, in the sector, the improvement is needed uh, with respect to the environment and public health. And uh, so method for investment, planning, and efficiency for the services must be improved. Uh, using appropriate technology will increase effectiveness of the investment and reduce long-term op operating costs uh, to consider the phasing approach uh, I would like to emphasize. And new idea, more initiatives are needed to speed up the process and uh, more sound, scientific based and practical policy uh, it, uh, is very important for Vietnam. Yeah, I uh, stop here with uh, emphasize that uh, we need more prom promoting the research activity and in implementation that uh, will help the sector to develop uh, sustainably. So this is the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention.